Your customers are throwing data at you. Are you paying attention? Hi everybody, my name is Greg Crable and this is my podcast, Something I Learned Yesterday, where I take one issue usually from the world of publishing and explain it in about three or four minutes. <clears throat> Yesterday, I was waiting in line at the grocery store and felt the annoying buzz of my cell phone, another email. I checked and noticed that my Google Pixel displayed the name of the song that was playing in the background at the, at the store. That means the Pixel is listening to everything that's going on, right? I suppose I could turn that off somewhere in the settings, but I haven't bothered. If it's listening to the background music, it's certainly also listening to what I say and probably to what people around me say. Maybe, maybe not, but let's just assume that. So what does Google DeepMind now know? It knows my location, so it knows what store I was in. Based on what song was playing at that time, it probably knows what music service that store is using, which is useful, useful information to sell to people who sell in-store music services. I'm sure there were other people in the store with Pixel phones, so it knew who else was nearby. Is there someone I'm often near? It knows whether I shop locally. Since the teller says out loud how much I owe, it might know how much I spent or spend at that store. If it's listening to what I say, and, and why wouldn't it, it knows whether I'm kind or mean to staff at stores. It knows that I checked my notification. By aggregating that data, when I do and when I don't check my notifications, it can tell vendors the best times to try to ping me. With a little thinking, you could probably come up with 10 or 20 more things Google is or could be collecting from my trip to the grocery store. Now, I'm not listing these things to make you afraid, but to challenge you. Are you thinking creatively about what you can do with the data your customers are throwing at you? If you have a website or if you send emails or text messages, your customers are providing you with data every single day. What are you doing with it? Now, Google looks at every piece of information they're collecting and thinks, how can I sell this? How can I use it? What can I build from this? You should be asking yourself the same question. For example, your ESP can tell you when prospects are more likely to open your emails. What can you do with that? A simple thing is to send your emails at those times, but what else can you learn? Does this information give you an insight into daily habits? Should you schedule content releases on your website to correspond to those times? Do these open times allow you to segment your audience in a meaningful way? Maybe, for example, professional use versus personal use. It might also help to dig into that data a little. Maybe certain types of content are getting more engagement at different times of the day. As a simple example, your daily comic might get opened at one time, while your daily news update gets opened at a different time. Next, check this data against what you see in other areas like online chat or customer service interactions. What about spam complaints? Are they more common at certain times of the day? If so, don't send at those times. The data is pouring in. You're collecting all kinds of data all the time. The real question is, are you paying attention to it? So that's my thought for today. I hope that was helpful. If there's anything I can do to help you with your business, please give me a call. You'll see my contact information on the next slide. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.